mean, you're a home wrecker. You're a home wrecker. I mean, you're a home wrecker. You're a home wrecker. When you're a liar, you're a liar. Money was stolen from me when I was in prison. All the while, I was being cheated on. I spent over a thousand something dollars of clothing on her. Well, hell, I'd respect her too. See, I wasn't raised that way. I was raised to not spoil my child. Why should this be kept to myself when everything else is just put out there? Christina doesn't do anything for Leah. What does Christina do? She doesn't do anything. Leah wanted to live with me until they went to Disney World. I don't spoil Leah. She only gets things on her birthdays and things like that. That's it. I'm not jealous of Christina. There's nothing about Christina that even makes me jealous in any sense. And I don't try to be mean for that one. I'm just telling the truth. No, it's not on Gary. Christina said that she had never seen the show, guys. She was from Anderson. She respects her because she brings her out to Starbucks, gets her nails done, and... Sp no, Gary does not clothe her, feeds her, nothing like that. Gary wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for me in the very beginning. And also... <laughs> you guys, please, you're making me f just laugh. They spoil my daughter. My daughter has not been with me in the same breath. I've been in an Airbnb for a couple years, which is one of the major reasons why I definitely, you know, just with everything going on with other stuff. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I just got in from a doctor's appointment like a few minutes ago, and my kids will be home in like 15 minutes. So I have to hurry up and get this video recorded so I can get it out to y'all. I thought it was interesting. Um, Amber Portwood has done an interview with The Sun. I'm not sure why all these reality TV stars talk to The Sun, like Amber, Janelle, um, Larry, uh, Ryan, Mackenzie, they all speak out to the sun. Not really sure why. It makes me wonder if the sun pays them. I feel like they, they must because the sun gets all these interviews with all these teen mom, uh, celebrities, if that's what you want to call them. Anyways, so she spoke to the sun and they asked her about her relationship with Gary and Christina. And she said that it's actually doing really well. This is what she had to say about that relationship. She said that the relationship is not only improved, but that they are amazing, actually. She said, we literally just went to the fair, all of us together, the whole family. We are in a much better spot than we were. We're doing good. We are in contact. I see my kid, so obviously I have to see them. Um, now, it, it's a shock to hear that they are doing better because earlier this year, um, Gary said he publicly stated that he was taking a step back away from Amber because right before that, Team Mom um, OG had aired an episode where they was helping Amber out a good bit, and Christina made a joke saying that Amber was basically like one of their own children, that, you know, as much as they have to do for her and as much as they're tending to her and taking care of her, that she's basically like one of their own their own kids. Amber got so mad over that situation. She got so mad over Christina saying that about her that she jumped on her IG account and she went off about Gary and Christina. She said that they were two-faced, they were liars, and in a rant actually um, before that, so the way that it happened was the week before we got to watch the episode and then it showed us a clip for next week's episode and in that clip it showed Christina making that comment. So it was after that clip played that she jumped on her IG, went on a rant, and then it was after the actual episode aired that she jumped on Instagram again and went into a further rant. Now, during these rants, she made claims that Gary tried to cheat on his wife with Amber. She called them liars. Um, she called Christina a homewrecker and a, a hoe. And then she said that Gary would um, call her up all the time and talk about... Uh, things that they used to do when they were together, like sexual related things that they would do. And on social media, she said, okay, you know what, Gary, if you and Christina are so happy, then why don't you tell her about the many times that you called me up 
and talk about our sexual encounters that we used to have. How many times did you sit there and say, oh, you're missing Big Daddy? She even accused Gary of trying to um, get handsy with her in front of one of the producers. And she said that the producer could, could verify this because the producer walked in as, as Gary was trying to get handsy with her. So these were big accusations that she made that really could have ruined Gary's family. Christina could have left him. She could have, whatever, you know. So I thought it was really immature of Amber to go that far. Like, you don't take care of your daughter. The woman that takes care of your daughter, if you really felt like she deserved to know, you would have got on the phone with her, asked her to meet you somewhere, and you would have told her what happened. But you didn't care if she knew. You just held on to it until Gary made you mad and then you used it as ammunition, which tells me that she really didn't care for Christina to know. It wasn't one of those things like, oh my God, I feel bad that, you know, her man is doing this. I feel like she deserves to know. It was one of those things like, ha, huh, I have I have some information that I can use as a weapon against Gary now. And she didn't care about how Christina felt because in those same rants where she was going off about this, she was also calling Christina a liar, two-faced, homewrecker, a hoe, and all of that. So it was after that, she, she went on these rants, um, calling them gross and all of that, that Gary said he was going to step away from her. Uh, at the reunion, um, Christina basically said that she's chosen to believe her husband. And while it upsets her, um, she didn't let it ruin her marriage, thankfully. But now they are doing well, you guys. According to Amber, they are doing well. She talked about how they have found some common ground and that they are both going to school now. She said, we are seeing each other as much as we can, but Christina and me are both in school, actually. And now that she's getting along with Gary and Christina, she talked about how uh, she, how it's working with her getting to see Leah. She said, we are seeing each other as much as we can, but Christina and me are both in school, actually, and the kids are in school now, too. Um, so, the Ashley Reality Roundup posted this, or said this in their article. All that learning has limited the time Amber has to spend online bashing people, apparently. And I think that rings true because now she's too busy to be on social media all the time, going off, getting mad at people. Um, she said, I struggled a bit, but I found something to kind of get me out of my head and busier with school. So that's good to know. So things with Gary and Amber and Christina, they are all good now. They're on good terms. She's getting to see Leah. They're hanging out again like they used to do. That was something they used to do. And I hope Amber doesn't take this for granted because one thing she does not I don't think she realizes is they don't have to be this way with her. They don't have to invite her to the fair with them or to functions out on the boat. They could just be like minimum, you know what I'm saying? Like you get her on your weekends, don't ask for nothing extra, pay us our child support, don't slip up. But they don't, they really try to welcome her in as part of their family. And anytime she gets mad, she just kind of flips off, like flips out on them. So I hope, I hope she, kind of reels it back in and realizes that sometimes, you know, she's got to take these comments as, as what they are, jokes, and not flip out. Um, so, they're on good terms. However, she is not on good terms with Andrew. We know that. Um, her and Andrew, they had some, some situations with court where she filed to get their custody ar arrangement changed to where she could have overnight visits once he turned three james he turned three in may um the judge told them settle it out of court you guys go to mediation i'm giving you guys 60 days figure it out however they did not the 60 days came and went and they could not um figure out something that they agreed on so it looks like they're their um, court situation will go to trial and that will be figured out at that point but it's good for for leah it's good for amber it's good for gary and christina that they are all getting along because i have to imagine when you're not getting along with amber it is so disruptive like gary had to make a public statement saying look I'm just backing away. I can't take no more. I'm backing away from her. So you guys, leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys think about Gary and Christina choosing to forgive Amber? And they are now working with her on, you know, letting her see Leah. They are letting her go places with them again. Do you guys think that's a good thing? I personally, I think it's a good thing. But I also think with people like Amber, you do have to set boundaries. Like, okay, you've done it once. We're going to remember this. We're bringing you back in. But if you keep doing stuff like this, at some point, we're just going to have to cut you off. And we're just going to have to let Leah see you 
when you have that time that you're supposed to get her. And then when she gets 18, she can do whatever she wants. But uh, if I was them, that's the way that it would be. Like, I, I'll give you an hour, I'll give you a couple chances. But if you're going to keep doing this and trying to make my life miserable and ruin my life, because that's things that Amber tries to do. She will literally try to ruin your life. Um, now, granted, maybe Gary done those things. But like I said, Amber did not tell Christina because she really wanted her to know or she deserved like she, she she thought Christina deserved to know. She was doing it just because she was mad. So, yeah. I think this is a good thing, you guys. I will be keeping my eyes peeled for the um, court situation with Andrew and Amber. If anything comes up, I'll let you guys know. You guys, leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.